Hey guys, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the difference between Gaussian blur and field blur. And spoiler, one is considerably better than the other. So here we have a photo of a city. We have a lot of light in this photo and we can apply a Gaussian blur. However, if we zoom in, you can see that this doesn't look great and isn't really representative of how a camera handles blur or depth of field. So here you can see a much better alternative. This is called field blur and it gives much more realistic results. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be working with two images in particular. Links are in the description if you'd like to follow along. And if you'd like to try out these techniques on some other images, you can go to unsplash.com, type in something like city lights, click on an image, and then you can download the selected image completely free. So we're going to start with this image on the left. Let's hop into Photoshop and get started. Rightio, so first of all, let's right click the background layer and select convert to smart object. This enables us to add our blur effects as smart filters so we can edit or remove them later. Next, press command or control J to duplicate the selected layer. We'll give the bottom one the name Gaussian blur and the top one we'll call field blur. Let's turn the top one off for now. Select the Gaussian blur layer and go up to filter, down to blur, and you guessed it, select Gaussian blur. You can then use the slider to adjust the amount of blur and see how different values give different results. And the results may vary depending on the size of your image. Okay, so we've applied the blur. Next, we're going to turn on our field blur layer, select it and go to filter, blur gallery and select field blur. This will bring up a new window. And if you don't have one by default, you can use the pin icon to add a blur point and you can drag this around. And whilst this will have some significance for other blur effects, for field blur, it doesn't really do anything. That's because field blur is applied consistently across the entire layer. We can now use the slider on the right to increase or decrease the amount of blur and we see those changes in real time. And already you can see that this looks much more realistic and is more in line with something that you would get out of a camera. Next, we're going to adjust the bokeh, which is the visual quality of the outer focus areas of a photographic image, especially as rendered by a particular lens. And down the bottom, we can adjust the properties for the bokeh effect. You can adjust the light bokeh and you can see how this changes in real time. This is a bit overexposed, so we can use the light range slider to try and correct this. And you don't really need to understand all of this. Just move the sliders around until you find a balance and get something that you're happy with. And you can see here it's a bit overexposed, so I can go back to the light bokeh slider, bring this down a little bit. There we go, that's nicer. And I can now introduce a little bit of color as well. Not like that, that's way too much color. Just a little bit of color, much better. And if you're feeling cheeky, you can turn on high quality, click OK, and you can see this blur is now applied as a smart filter. So we can now go back in and edit this effect or delete it entirely. Lastly, let's take a good look at Gaussian blur and then turn on the field blur layer so we can see the difference. And as you can see, this looks considerably better. Was that enough emphasis on considerably? Yeah, yeah, okay. Next, we're going to move on to our second image. And this time I'm going to turn up the music so you don't have to listen to me waffle on. Uh, whoa, 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 something a little bit more chill. No, no, not quite. Yeah, that's it, that's better. before with the Gaussian blur, and here is the after with the field blur and the delicious bokeh effect. So there we go, that wraps up the video. If you enjoyed this one, hey, why not subscribe for more, ring the bell for notifications, take care, and I'll see you next time.